Hello friends, I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to do a video all about assumptions and I asked everyone on my Instagram just to write in their assumptions about me and I thought let's just have a little chatty video of me going through them all. And I'm sat on the floor, I don't know why, <laughs> I've brought everything down here with me like my plants and cushions. So yeah, I'm just sat on the floor. Anyway. Let's get them up. I'm going to scroll right to the bottom. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> the first one. You're a little too obsessed with the colour lime slash anything green. Brackets, obviously a joke. Um, yeah, I am obsessed with the colour lime. I love the colour lime. So I guess that one's true. <laughs> you are naturally slim and don't really work out or exercise. Um, I guess, yeah, like my mum's quite... A slim build anyway and I take after her a lot so I guess I am kind of naturally slim and yes I don't really work out because I'm so I'm just really lazy but recently I have been working out a lot more just to try and build up a, a okay. um but yeah I never really used to work out that much so you don't seem like the type of girl that owns an umbrella I do own an umbrella you're really down to earth and a nice person that anyone would be lucky to be friends with. Oh, thank you. I like to think so and hope so. You don't realise how inspiring you are to others. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like my worst enemy. I always, um, like from my family and my friends, I always get told off and put myself down a lot and being so harsh on myself. So you have a lot of friends. Uh, all through growing up I never really had a big group of friends, I only had like my true like best friends. So it's not until now kind of through like Instagram and blogging that I've kind of met more people and they've become like friends. So, yeah, I don't know, I don't really know how to respond to all of these, I'm just saying, so, yeah. <laughs> um, you are confident and extroverted, that's completely wrong. <laughs> I am definitely not confident. I try and pretend that I am because I feel like I kind of have to be but deep down I'm really really not. I get very very anxious very very easily and I overthink everything so I just I become like a big mess and yeah I'm I'm very very shy to be honest and if you've kind of met me or you know what I'm like then you know that I am quite a quiet person um like I don't know if I'm in a crowd or a group or whatever like I always kind of just I kind of just stay to myself and let everyone else do all the talking or whatever it is and I just like to kind of sit back and watch I never really like to try and get too involved because again it's just down to like not having any confidence and stuff but yeah um, you eat really healthy slash restrict your food no, that's really, that's really, really wrong. I don't eat healthy at all. No. <laughs> I absolutely love, like, anything sweet, like chocolate, cakes, donuts, biscuits, ice cream. I'll have it all, and I will literally eat all of that in one day, which is really, really bad. And, no, I don't really restrict my food. Like, if I want to eat, if I want to eat unhealthy stuff, then I do. It's normally like Eli, my boyfriend or my family, they'll be like, Chloe, you've had a lot of sweet food today, maybe you don't eat that. Like I remember my dad and my mum used to say that a lot, especially my sister as well actually. They always be like, Chloe, you need to cut down on the sugar. And I'm like, yeah, but I can't help it, I just love it. So yeah, I do not eat healthy. The only healthy thing that I recently eat at the moment and that I love is like avocado. I don't mind store. I don't, the thing is they're like, I don't mind a few veg. I don't, yeah, like I don't mind vegetables or fruit. Like, whenever I eat something healthy, I always want to reward myself with, like, a treat for eating healthy. See, like, there's my first issue. So, not in a bad way, you don't have a lot of close friends. Um, no. Probably, like, I can't on my hand, like, good close friends that I know I can rely on and will always be there for me and I'll always be there for them. So, yeah. I had, like, I, like I mentioned previously, like, I do have a lot of friends now purely because of Instagram and blogging and all that but I do have my main friends that like I know I can trust and talk to about anything and yeah my besties my BFFs 
God, I haven't said that in a while. Um, you are very loving. I guess, yeah, I am. I don't know, Eli would disagree. <laughs> I like to think I am. I think Eli is more loving than I am. But I definitely am loving. But yeah, he's more. I think, it, to be honest though, when we first got together, it was the other way around. Like, I was so... I was like, pew, 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 have my love. And he wasn't so much. And then now, through the years, it's kind of like flipped. Um, no, we're both loving. But... Eli just a little bit more. You hate the heat and love the cold. I don't, yeah, I don't like being really hot and sticky and when it's hot weather I hate the clothes I have to wear because you have to wear like little to nothing just so you don't get really really hot and I hate that. I love being, I don't love being cold, don't get me wrong, but I love being able to like wrap up warm like jumpers, a coat, scarf, beanies or whatever it is like just, I don't know, you can go out to cafes and have hot chocolates and stuff to warm yourself up. Yeah, definitely love the cold, I think. You don't know how to drive. Wrong. I do know how to drive, but I don't have a car. So basically, when did I pass my test? I think I passed my test 2016, I think. But anyway, yeah, so I passed my test and I got my little car. This is all, all on the Isle of Wight. Um, and I used to hate driving, I was so nervous and it took me a while to gain confidence in it but then in the end I absolutely loved driving so much because just put your music on, sing and I don't know, it's just nice having, it felt very like free and independent and I don't know, I guess it was kind of like on the pathway to me feeling more mature. Like that's so cheesy but so true does that make sense i don't know um but when i moved to brighton there's because i'm quite close to everything like i don't really need a car and we don't have any car parking spaces either with our flat that we rent so in the end i had to sell my car sadly but i do know how to drive although i'm hoping when i get back into a car i'll still remember i don't know hopefully if surely you would because it's like riding a bike right um you are shy around people you don't know correct so if i don't really know someone i <laughs> am so quiet i because i don't i don't know how i don't know what to say i don't know what makes them laugh i don't know whether they're gonna like me it's just like the whole fact of me getting really nervous and yeah like panicky don't know what to do don't know what to say so i will literally just kind of sit there in silence and watch everyone else talk or what happens and stuff and if it is just me and one other person that I'm meeting for the first time then that's where I have to fake confidence and deep down I'm like shaking <laughs> you don't shop at thrift stores brackets not meant as a bad thing I love your style um so no I do actually go charity shopping quite a lot but it's really difficult because I'm quite petite like I'm five foot three and in trousers I normally have to go down to a size 4. I really really struggle to find clothes that actually fit me from charity shops but I have got like oversized blazers that I've bought before. I love buying kind of charity shop homeware pieces like some really cool, what did I actually get? Got a really cool like plant pot, candlestick holder, vases, or oh, got dishes and plates before from charity shops. Um, so I do love to go thrift shopping but you have to find really really good gems and in Brighton that's really really hard because everyone loves to go charity shopping so if something good is in that shop it's gonna get bought very quickly so you have to be on it. You are quite well off. <laughs> um, no not really. Like my family of just kind of they were kind of like average money I guess like I'm from just an average family like my mum and dad work really hard I don't know how to answer this. But no, like, I don't come from a super mega rich family. Like, I'm just a normal person from, like, an average normal family. And, yeah, everyone just works hard and they earn the money. And I've always worked quite hard. Since 15, I've always worked for, like, a company. And then, obviously, I've just become self-employed, so I'm working for myself. But, I, I don't know, like, obviously, I earn money and I work hard for it but I'm definitely not a millionaire <laughs> that you are really tall nah 
I'm five foot three, although Eli measured me the other night and he said I was five foot two, so I don't know whether I'm shrinking. But no, I'm very, very short. It's just, it's just oh my god, I just clicked my finger. It's um, it's all just in the angles, to be honest. It's all in the angles. So yeah. Uh, rich parents, laughing face. Um, no, like. Like I mentioned, my mum and dad work extremely hard to earn the money that they do, um, but they aren't rich and, well, well, to be honest, I don't really know. I don't really know. I don't really see their bank accounts. <laughs> um, but I know they work hard for the money and yeah. But they've never been one to just be like, I'll buy you this, I'll buy you that, I'll buy you this. They've always made sure that I kind of work for what I want. So whether I wanted to buy a new top, I had to earn my own money to buy that. Um, so, I don't know. But yeah, I wouldn't say that they're rich. Obviously they have money, but I wouldn't say that they're rich. I don't know, are they going to get offended if I say this? <laughs> I'm not sure. You have your shit together. Brackets, I don't. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> I really don't. My life is kind of a mess. I used to be really, really organised and I'm definitely not anymore. I don't know what's happened. I think it's maybe, I don't know. I'm, yeah, but now I don't have my shit together. I really don't. You are a very friendly person. Thank you, I hope so. <laughs> I do worry like, because I'm shy, it might come across that I'm rude or stuck up, um, but it's definitely not. It's because I am shy. And when I do eventually kind of get to know you, then yeah, I, I guess I do. I don't know. But yeah, I would like to think that I'm friendly. I hope so. <laughs> that is all of them. Um, thank you so much for watching, if you did. Can you hear that? I think someone's filling a pool with their hose. I don't know how long this is gonna go on for. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all stay safe and stay well, and I shall see you all very, very soon.